Hey guys, I'm Chelsea and I'm here with a few thoughts on life in the fast lane. You know, many people feel a rush of adrenaline when they shoot across the highway for the first time. The speed is exhilarating. It makes you feel superior to the slow drivers that you pass. It makes you feel invincible, like nothing can harm or stop you. Like keeping on driving like that is the easiest option in the whole world. And it's logical. The faster you go, the faster you get there. Many people love life the same way. Caught between school and 15 extracurriculars. Between parties and dates and free part-time jobs to pay for college. Between household duties and business dinners and family vacations that are spent checking emails and missed calls by the pool. It's fast, it's efficient, and it's dangerous. What happens when we're always in free places at the same time is that we eventually lose track of where we are ultimately headed. We are hung up on the test from yesterday or busily setting up the schedule for tomorrow. But in this back and forth between the times, we tend to forget that the only moment we actually have is now. Of course, it's important to learn from the past, but still its name already indicates its place. And of course, it's important to make plans and think ahead. But let's face it, the future is never guaranteed. Just once in a while we need to ground ourselves and find our way back into the present. And again, I don't mean the homework due tomorrow that we could do right now. Or the trip next week that we could be planning. Or today's dinner that we could be preparing. I'm not talking about the things that presently could be. But about the things that presently are. Allow yourself to send your mind on vacation every day, if only for a couple of minutes. Maybe birds are singing in the trees. Make out their different melodies. Maybe there are the sounds of a highway in the distance. Let them blend in with your surroundings. But remember, the rush of those cars doesn't concern you right now. Maybe the sun is setting, or the sky has a fantastic color, or there's a cloud with a really funny shape, or there's a light drizzle. Take it all in. You can watch it all from inside, but if the conditions allow it, try to do it outside. Just sit or stand or lie there. And listen, observe, breathe, smell the fresh air and let its aroma unfold. Listen to the world around and within. Listen to your body. It's here, right now. And it knows more than you do. It allows you to do amazing things if you take good care of it. So get in touch with everything that's going on inside. Bathe in the glory of all those happy and pleasant feelings that you discover. And if you find anger or sadness or worry, notice it. But for now, let those feelings rest. There's a time and place to deal with them. Now is not the time. Now is the time to feel. Feel the light breeze in your neck. Feel the ground underneath you. Is it hard or soft? Does it give in? Feel the texture 
of your clothes against your skin. Feel the blood flow in your veins. Feel that strand of hair that is tickling your face. Feel at peace and vibrant at the same time. Feel that you are here. Feel that you are alive and that it's amazing. And remember what your mom or dad or your driving instructor told you when you hit the road for the first time. Driving is fun. Just don't go too fast. <laughs>